Well, 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 would you look at the time? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you might be in this wonderful world. Welcome to Splasher 6 Flight Sim. And today, on the beginning of a new journey, let me get my tunes dialed down there a little bit. Get them simmering in the background. And also turn down in my ear a bit. Bear with me here. There we go. All that adjusted. How are we doing today? Hope this finds you all in a good uh, weekend so far. And um, what we're up to today is the beginning of uh, what I'm calling the cadet training tour. Um, hell, there's Bellowind. Good afternoon. Welcome. Glad to see you around, Bellowind. Hope you're doing fine. But what we are up to today is um, starting a little, little journey here. A um, little bit of background. Uh, old Splasher's father was a B-17 pilot in World War II. And um, what we're going to do over the next 13 weeks or so is uh, we're going to make stops at, in sequence of um, at all of his uh, training locations. Training locations and all of his uh, stops along the way um, while in training and uh, with his crew on the way to England and uh, their final, their final uh, base assignment at uh, Thorpe Abbotts in, uh, uh, in England with the 8th Air Force and the 100th Bomb Group. So uh, where we begin, I'm going to turn down a little bit of a volume here on my laptop off to the side here. Bear with me. There we go. So that's not barking in the background. But where we're starting is um, where he started in cadets, um, basic training Army Air Force Cadets, um, Santa Ana, California. Um, and as a matter of fact, um, started uh, 79 years ago to this week. Um, and I just realized also the week of uh, um, Veterans Day. He started uh, his training on or about um, November 10th, 1942 in Santa Ana, California which is where we're at right now, over here. And um, <clears throat> with any luck, uh, if you want to fly along today, most uh, welcome to. Um, I've chosen the uh, Stearman. Uh, so anything that will do around 100 knots. Uh, this is a simple um, point A to point B flight. Our destination will be his first um his, actually, his second training location at um, King City, California, where he did primary. So uh, we're we're starting at KSNA here. I'll get that up in the chat. KSNA is also John Wayne, Orange County. chat there so um, let's go ahead and get started we'll spawn in anyway and then we'll I've got some uh, I've got some things for us to look at also set that as departure and hopefully we have picked a location that will work on the ramp as we wait for the sim to crank up. So 
So yeah, dad was a B-17 pilot. He had, um, he had always, um, been interested in, uh, aviation. He was a little bit older than, um, the, um, rest of the crew. And it looks like, um, you might have a good location here. Okay, good. In the shade. We're going to practice on our bringing up uh, visuals here. I have, I have period photos from the era that uh, are a part of his collection. And I'm going to share along the way here. Let's see how this works out. So... That's the wrong folder. Doke. We gotta get to Santa Ana. There we go. Let's see how things show up here. All right, there we go. So um, here's a telegram that he sent to his folks um, that um, let them know he was going to be swearing in uh, to the Army Air Force. <clears throat> he knew what his uh, draft number was and did not want to be drafted into the Army. And so he waited a little while till he knew when his uh, draft number was going to be coming up and then he enlisted in the Army Air Force in uh, in Iowa and that was uh, apparently on or about May 22nd of 1942 and he actually swore in with a group of um, a group of uh, other cadet trainees uh, on uh, a local radio broadcast in Des Moines. So he uh, sent um, a telegram to his folks in southwest Iowa. We'll swear in 430 today over WI radio station and then be in Algona tonight and then home Monday. Don't know what he was doing in Algona. But um, he had had already two years of college, so he qualified for um, um, flight training and for um, officer training. So let's see what goes to the next one. That's the same thing, just a different scan. So October, November time period of 42, he ships off to Santa Ana, California. <clears throat> Here we have a picture of the um, entrance to the Santa Ana Cadet Training Base, which we'll, um, once we get up in the air, we'll fly over the area right now, which is pretty much all developed and, and, uh, with uh, commercial and housing. Here is an aerial photo of the time period. Hello, Dale. How are you today? Welcome. Welcome in. You're catching the first, uh, first broadcast of my new series, uh, following my father's, um, cadet pilot training journey in world war two. He was a B 17 pilot with the hundredth bomb group. And, um, I'm starting out on a little journey here, going to all the stops he made along the way in training and, um, overseas all the way to his, um, assigned base with the hundredth bomb group. So we are starting out today in, uh, Santa Ana, California. There's an aerial photo of the base.
Yes, I was, I was, I, I labored over that, Dale, um, very, very um, purposely um, to have a stream time that would catch um, uh, England and Europe um, for this particular, um, for this particular stream. So it also happened to uh, fall on the very week, 79 years ago today, when he started his uh, pilot training. So um, he started on or about um, uh, November 10th of uh, 1942. And so um, also happened to have been the uh, week of uh, um, Veterans Day. <laughs> so how appropriate. So this map here, what we have is a recent uh, Google map of uh, the area where the Santa Ana uh, cadet training base was over um, Southern California, the Irvine, Santa Ana area. Um, I don't know the names of the freeways here, but once we get up in the air, we will um, we will check that out a little bit more detail. So let's get going. We can pull that up later. And um, I picked the Stearman, um, which uh, he, um, he did not train in the Stearman at all. We'll, we'll uh, get to that uh, in the next uh, episode when we're at King City. But um, I did pick a period correct uh, uh, Army Air Force trainer that was used quite commonly, of course. You all know that. That um, we'll get in here. Let me get my bearings as to where I'm at on the airport. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna make a left turn. I'll be on the. I'll be headed the right direction. If I don't wipe out the hangar first, let's go ahead and get started. Get things cranked up. Get in the air. Even though I don't have autopilot on the Stearman which is kind of handy if I want to show visuals. Uh, we'll figure something out. I do have other planes planned later in the tour. Let's do our mixture up. Get our throttle cycled. And get everything else. Mags. Thing else started. All right, let's listen to the utter of that radial seven cylinder radial steerman engine. Oh, not from that side, we won't. There we go. So, this will be about a 13 leg journey. Um, the beginning of his. Um, um, pilot training was in the uh, California Central Valley. So today we'll be flying to King City, where he did primary. Um, the uh, training at um, Santa Ana was just uh, basic training, where they learned um, the ins and outs of the military life, marching, uh, PT, physical training, um, and the world of being a being an aviator. So let's uh, release the brake and get to taxiing out. So we line up for a takeoff. Wait for that man. Go. Leave. We need to go down this way. Get to the foot of the runway. So our flight today will be a couple hundred miles. 
This is going to be in the neighborhood of a couple hours. We're maintaining uh, 100 knots. Make sure we're clear on the runway everywhere. Everybody coming in. Taxi on out. All right. Let's saw up a pickup truck today. What do you think? There we go. All right, on we go. The old steerman going. And there we go. We're going to stay low at first because we want to take a look at the area here. I love the sound of a steerman. Just got to love that. So we may pause here and look for a little nav map because I want to bring up a little nav map and get zeroed in on uh, where we are. So we can kind of fly over the area. where I do believe there's Santa Ana I think it was somewhere down in here it was very near oh I bet it was down over here there was a golf course Because we're looking for I gotta find that there we go we're looking for this triangular shape in the um, in the freeways and this golf it's like a golf course down here I think, I think is right here. Yeah, if we look at this freeway off to our left, we'll be flying over. I think it's right in here where the Santa Ana is located. Back off the... bit further over. Yeah. Only thing is I'm not seeing that golf course. I think straight ahead of us here is approximately where it was. They didn't do any flying out of Santa Ana. It was mostly just basic training. We'll take a circle around. 
I think there's a high school like right there off of my right wing. And I think the base entrance was right in this, right at this corner here. Stretched all the way down to here. And then I think this was like the southwest corner of the uh, of the property. I think we're right down here right now. Still, still a little puzzled. I'm not seeing where this looks like a uh, looks just like a golf course is. all looks like the correct area. So, let's make sure we're fairly close to our, our line. Yep, we need to be off to the left a little more. Stay on little lab map a little bit so we get on our course here. But that's uh, that's the Santa Ana Air Base, and we'll um, have other photos once we get uh, flying here. About 240 degrees. West, and then we'll pick up, pick up our line. Which will need to be about 300 degrees. That will be our line to King City. We'll, start, we'll have to start climbing because we'll need to get up over the San Andreas Mountains. So he was at, I have to look at my notes for timelines, <clears throat> he was at Santa Ana until roughly February, January, February of 43. So roughly eight weeks, two months or so until he moved on to King City. or primary flight training. Make sure I don't miss my line here, which is coming up. Change our course here to 300 degrees. Give or take. There we go. Try 
to keep ourselves on 300 degrees. Ourselves trimmed out. Now we're going to cheat now and then on fuel just so we don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to put on about a 70, 80 percent fuel load. Not sure how that's going way in. We're going to need to be climbing. I'll tell you that much. Oh, no. Thanks for following along, Dale. I hope, uh, I hope we don't have problems with, um, the bug about, um, name tags. Appreciate you following along. Right now, we're just over, uh, western, uh, Los Angeles Valley. Long Beach airfield coming up here we're going to be on about a 300 degree heading I don't want to drift too too far from so I don't have autopilot Ooh, nice. Nice, Dale. What, uh, uh, do share. What, uh, what did you score for a graphics card? Thirty seventy. That is, that is what I have. I, uh, I built my rig last, uh, November. About a year from now, actually, is when I bought my bought my graphics card and my C CPU. Before everything got super crazy, uh, and I got a 3070, I got an MSI 3070 overclock edition, just a plain Jane, no uh, no LEDs, double fan unit. And um, knock on wood, so far it has been flawless. Let's see, make sure we are track following. Okay. We're in the vicinity. Good. N60 was good, ran smooth on smooth on medium and high, but man, yeah, what a difference on ultra. Yeah, I've, um, I can, um, while streaming, I am on uh, ultra, and um, I pull up my NVIDIA numbers here. I think they'll show up. I'm in the high 50s um, with my 3070. Low 60s, high 50s while streaming and running two monitors and OBS and everything else. And I am custom but mostly ultra settings. Maintain that climb or else we're not going to make mountains. Bit at 500 feet a minute. Uh, dev mode 60 to 65 for you. Yep. Yep. 
Um, you know, for the money, I think um, the 3070 is probably the best best buy. Um, and um, like I said, I got lucky last November. Um, Bella Wind, who's also on there, credit to Bella Wind, scored. Um, I got a, I have a 5600X on a uh, on an MSI motherboard, MSI Tomahawk motherboard, and I got the um, we uh, we got the 5600X and the 3070 on the same day on a um, and Bella Wind, if you're listening, correct me if I'm wrong. I think we got them from Best Buy. I had Bella Wind on the project, keeping an eye on inventory drops, and um, we happened to got lucky and scored the CPU and the GPU all on the same day. And we need to be to the right a little bit more, if to the west. We're not on live weather, by the way. Yeah, I did not see you, Dale, either. Like, I don't see very many at all. Any name tags? Bummer. Oh, the lead developer for Hype Performance? They make the H135 and the 145. Oh, no kidding. Cool. I have not, um, I have not sprung for uh, any helicopters yet. Uh, it just hasn't been of my, hasn't caught my interest. That's uh, Devo 3. If your tags are popped back in. Oh. Uh, that's a good question. My name. I got very few name tags. I do have the UI name tag. I can remove them. See if they'll pop back in. Let's see, approaching 6,000 feet. That's good. Back off on our mixture of tad. Power. Check our course. Really close. Bad there. Okay. had been having uh, pretty good luck with name tags up until now. The last couple, last few days have been kind of off a little bit. They want to pop in and out. I flew over to Catalina Island last night in the Grumman um, Goose for the first time. I'd had the goose for about a month. I haven't flown it yet. That was, I like the goose. There's Santa Monica Municipal up ahead. And I'm still not getting very many name tags. About 6,500 feet. It's weird with the name tags, the one you want to see keep disappearing. No kidding, right? That's going to be interesting once with the name tag problem still there. Once they get uh, big uh, Reno race pack next week. I'm honestly not going to, uh, I'm going to get the 
the $60 Reno race pack because I want the AT6 and I want the, the um, P51 mostly. Multiplayer issue in Reno is going to be a deal breaker, no kidding. Can't compete with people popping in and out. Yeah, I hear you. I would have thought they'd have had that squared away by now. I mean, I want the Reno race pack real bad. Getting close to 7,500 feet. And still at about 300 degrees heading. Well, they said it was gonna be fixed for Reno, so it should be fixed the 18th, but I honestly doubt it. Me too. I mean, I'll still probably go ahead and, and buy the buy the pack. It's just I won't do the Reno race for a while until they get uh, until they get it squared away. Because you can fly the AT6 and the P51 and the rest of the sim. Alright, time to start leveling out here. Little bit at a time. Thousand feet. Back on the mixture a little bit more. Still climbing. Yes, uh, game of the year also coming out with new stuff I think they're gonna be new uh, a couple of new airplanes in the uh, release the game of the year release if I recall correctly ah nice to see my programmed uh, stream elements timed uh, timed out good for joining my discord channel so y'all can see uh, future announcements for this series that we're on right now which is uh, applying to all the uh, training bases that my dad was at during his uh, cadet training in World War II today we're flying from Santa Ana John Wayne to KKIC uh, that is the airport where King City is located in City, California. And that is Mesa Del Rey. Back on the course a little bit. So uh, I got some other photos to share from the time period. So let's pull those up. Hopefully they'll be out of the way. Still halfway fly. So there's Santa Ana at the time. And then also uh, I have a link to the 100th Bomb Group Foundation website, which is uh, of uh, definite interest for anybody in the uh, interested in the 8th Air Force uh, Bomber Command um, or general aviation from World War II um, and the 100th Bomb Group which uh, my dad flew with definitely uh, check the 100th Bomb Group out lots lots and lots of great period photos from uh, family members and uh, original vets contributing to that, their photo archive. We're kind of going backwards in the order of things here. There's the telegram I showed earlier. So this is uh, the King City Airport, Mesa Del Rey, back in the period, 1943, right about the time when dad was there. 
And there he is himself, December of 42, at Santa Ana. The uh, young cadet. This thing wants to drift to the west. Do a little correction. That's during his cadet days at Santa Ana. Some of the crew he hung with at Santa Ana. Don't know any of those names. Uh, looks like there's a Paul Wilkie in there. Let's make sure we're on course here. Yeah, doing pretty good. Where these guys ended up, I have no idea. Because, you know, after after um, basic, you kind of got, you know, based on your skills and where you wanted to go, you kind of got sent to the next step. And some of them might have gone to King City, some of them may have not. Now, this was on the trip, the train trip out from Iowa to Santa Ana. This is in um, Las Vegas, New Mexico. And um, I actually did some research a couple years ago, and this building is still standing in Las Vegas, New Mexico. I believe it's a train station, and they have renovated it. And it looks, uh, it looks pretty sharp. There is a uh, picture of dad at Santa Ana in 42. Not sure we're on course here. back on course. There's one of his buddies. No idea what happened to him. All these guys I'm sure have passed away by now. My dad passed away in 2008 at the ripe old age of 90. PT training. I have a real funny one coming up here. There's a story about it. Looks like our altitude's going to be okay. Hanging in there around 8250. Okay, this is the photo. Take a good look, folks. I can remember looking at this photo from the time I was like three or four years old. My dad would say, go 
know I was that flexible, did you? Gotta turn off my heater behind me here. There we go. Room is warming up a little too much. And it wasn't until I was maybe nine, ten years old until I figured this out. Because my dad never let me off the hook with this one. I'll let you all take this in, take this photo in for a while. Look at it closely. If I can zoom in. Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Let's see how the stream health is doing. Oh, I want to keep drifting to the left. What are you doing there, huh? y'all are watching I'll keep you on the I'll keep you on the hook and uh, we will uh, we'll get back to that one oh, now I did that and now I can't next photo back out there yeah there we go all right Apparently when I zoom in it doesn't let me come to the next photo right, this is a repeat I'm going the wrong way Nope. Repeats. There's a couple other photos in here. Yeah, there we go. There's another picture of the train station at Las Vegas, New Mexico. Yeah, we're still drifting. Still drifting. The 30 to the right. Still have very few name tags. Let's check one thing here. Make sure we are on West USA. Hold tight, folks. Yep, West USA it is. Okay. Let's uh, let's switch to East, and then back again. Let's see what that does. Sometimes that will bring back tags. Give it a minute to populate. Down here. Southwest Airlines flight. There's one over here. It's populated and now they're gone <laughs> so let's go back to west and let it decide what it wants to do that 30 to my right 
8,500. Okay, that's fine. Okay with 8,500. Bob Hope, Burbank Airport. Still don't have Dale. Shot there. Myself from drifting to the left. I want to keep that little dip, that little dip right there in my target. If I do that, Tim just crashed, hoping that gets. Oh, ah, oh, darn. Darn. Dale, sorry to hear that. Knock on wood, I haven't had too many crashes lately. I suppose it's been saving it for today. Somewhere, I thought, in my folder, or, and why am I not, why did I not get the Hollywood Canteen? Yeah, I gotta show this. So, there's a place called the Hollywood Canteen, when he was at Santa, Ma when he was at Santa Ana, that, um, still drifting to the left that uh, all of the cadets would go to on their free time. And uh, it's where all the stars would hang out and entertain the, uh, entertain the troops. And um, these are some of the uh, autographs that my dad got on a postcard. And I think you, what the deal was is you have that postcard signed and then you uh, mail it home and um, as you can see at the top there uh, that is the one and only Betty Davis um, also Patricia Morrison the famous actress of the time I can't recall who she's been in um, George, Georgia Carroll I don't know I'd have to look that up and then I don't know who this middle one is Aurora Hill and then Marilyn Maxwell she's another famous actress of the time period definitely no heard of her and then uh, another one at the bottom there Harry Harry Gobert Harry Roberts Harry Babbitt Harry Babbitt so that's from the famous Hollywood canteen that dad held on to for a long time. I'm still drifting to the west. That away for a little bit. Yep, we are way off. Take a 
heading about 33 a few minutes Santa Paula just flew there the other night with Flockstrot. Back on our course here. Actually, stand to come down to eighty five hundred. Wouldn't hurt any. Check our now yeah we're getting back in line here looking better as we get closer Still need to correct a little bit more. A sip of uh, my quickly cooling off coffee. Let's dial down our sim sounds just a touch. There we go. There we go. And let's come back down to 8,500. Which we should be able to. Still have very few. Wow. Very few. Name tags, that is. Looking back on Dale's post, might try the races, but I'm most interested in the planes. Yep, same here. Most definitely. Camarillo, California. Off to our left.
if anybody's just joining in, we are flying from <clears throat> uh, John Wayne, Orange County, to KKIC, King City, California, starting on the first leg of what I call the cadet flight training journey. My dad was a B-17 pilot, World War II, and his first uh, training stop was um, Santa Ana, California, for basic flight, for basic training through the Army Air Force, World War II. And he started his training uh, roughly 79 years ago this week, this past week, on uh, November 10th, 1942. So we're on a roughly 13 leg journey flying to each of the airfields and bases where he trained at in sequence. And today's inaugural leg is from Santa Ana, California to King City, California. Welcome one, welcome all. If you'd like to join in and fly with me, you're sure welcome. We're in the Stearman. And we're at about 8,700 feet. And looking on a little nav map. ASZP Santa Paula would be a good place to join in. off on my following little nav map a little bit so we're gonna once again get over to 330 degrees make a correction for a few minutes So Santa Paula, if you want to join in. We'll just kind of let it find its own altitude. I think pushing 9,000 feet, I think we'll be fine. Over the um, San Andreas Mountains? What are these? Oh, hey, Flox. No problem. Not a problem. Glad to have you. Thanks for stopping in just for a moment to say hi. This one will be a relatively short one. It's only a couple hundred nautical miles. So um, there'll be other ones down the road that are going to be four and five hours in length. So um, not a problem if you can't catch this one. We are about uh, probably a third of the way through right now. I decided to fly the Stearman, just hand flying. Kind of keep it period correct. We'll probably probably use the Stearman on a f first uh, two or three of these flights, so they're going to be fairly short. Um, King City up to Chico will be another short one. That'll be the next one. And looking here on my cheat sheet. I don't have the mileage for each of the legs. I know the California ones are going to be fairly short the first two or three weeks. And then I know from uh, Stockton 
after we get done in California at Stockton. Then we go to Hobbs, New Mexico. That's going to be a long one. That's going to be about 900 miles. So it uh, just depends. We might break out the DC-6 for that. Which means old Splasher needs to get some DC-6 seat time. <laughs> it's been a few months. What mountains we're crossing over? Ah, glad to have you, Phlox. Appreciate the effort. I know Saturdays this time of day are busy for all of us. What mountain range we're across? Oh, welcome. Looks like we have a raid going from Allison. Allison Johnson with the raid. Thank you so much. Welcome to Splasher 6 Flight Sim. Incoming is right. <laughs> Bunny Rabbit. Factual Gull. Welcome, everyone, to Splasher 6 Flight Sim. Just happened to have caught us today on an inaugural flight following the cadet flight training path for my dad in World War II. Welcome, welcome. Hit that uh, follow button. Uh, you're catching the inaugural flight on uh, what will be a 13-part journey following... Uh, yes, Raid. Thank you, Allison. Thank you so much. My birthday sister from afar. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Smash that follow button. You're catching uh, the first part of a, a long journey, 13-part journey, following my dad's uh, flight training path in World War II. Uh, we took off today from uh, Santa Ana, California, where he um, was in uh, basic training at the Army Air Force uh, 79 years ago this week, as a matter of fact. Uh, no, he started in Santa Ana, California, Golden Bow. Um, started in Santa Ana. And uh, the next stop for primary was uh, King City, California. And he did most of his uh, primary and advanced training in the California Central Valley. Um, so um, we're flying to King City. Co uh, what is that airport? Costa Mesa? Mesa del Rey. So, um, hello again, Viper Strike. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Appreciate that. I've always been a fan of uh, Allison Johnson. And um, definitely smash that follow button. We'll be, uh, we'll be on a 13-part journey once a week. At this time period of 1800 Zulu on Saturdays. And um, these first few flights will be short ones. This one's only going to be a couple hours. But um, we are on our way through the Central California Valley to King City, California. And um, I have a few uh, visuals. There we go. There we go. I can make make things work right. Uh, this is these are pictures from my dad's collection. Um, this was on his trip to Santa Ana back in 1942. He started this week. Oh, Col Colton Bow, uh, reading about bomber training in Williams Air Force Base. Oh, there was all kinds of. Uh, little small airfields all through the Central California Valley and the West that were converted to uh, training fields, definitely. Um, Santa Ana, King City, Stockton, Chico, they were all just a part of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the subscriptions. Charlie Foxtrot. Fox just upped his subscription for five months in a row. Thank you very much. 
Chunky Flyer with a subscription, Goblin Zeus. Thank you so much for the subscription there, folks. Really appreciate it. Raisins in your toast. Can't forget you, my buddy. Thank you so much for those subscribes. Really appreciate that. So we have some photos of his train trip out to Santa Ana, California from his home in southwest Iowa in the fall of 1942. And there he is in training. They were gift subs from Allison. Thank you, Dougal. Appreciate that. Heads up. Thank you very much. Didn't catch that in chat. Thank you, Allison. Thank you so much for those gift subs. Really appreciate that. Greatly appreciated. He was uh, he was an old man then, uh, compared to some of the pilots in the training. Um, he was 26 years old, and he was the oldest one on the crew. And uh, along with his co-pilot, who was also about 25 or 26, yeah, he, um, he had graduated from high school in 35 and had already, uh, <laughs> he right out of high school went to uh, University of Michigan for aeronautical engineering. So many brave and courageous young men. Yes, they were. Yes, they were, Dougal. Um, definitely, folks, uh, there's a pop-up there. Oh, Allison, thank you so much. Really appreciate that raid. Thank you so much, my uh, my birthday sister there. You know what I mean? That's coming up real soon. Uh, I know you just had a long flight, so definitely go get some chow. And I appreciate that raid. But... Um, Yes, definitely check out my Discord. There's a link in chat there uh, to catch all the uh, updates coming up or the uh, stream announcements. I'm going to go back down to little nav map and make sure I haven't drifted to the left, which I have. Seems to want to drift to the left. Thank you, Allison. Salute. So yes, he had graduated in 1935. You all hear that? Redeemed, highlight my message. Hear that train a coming. <laughs> I did not hear that. I don't know why it hasn't gone through. Maybe it's gone through just the... Uh, Maybe it's just gone through the um, stream audio. Also, another thing to check out, I put a link to, is the... Uh, oh, boy. We got a train. We got a hype train going here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Fox, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Guys, gifted a gifted a sub to Treetop Flyer. Thank you, Flox. Ever so grateful. Thank you so much. Got a follow from Captain Mahoney. Thank you very much, sir. Trying to trying to hand fly the old steerman here. Welcome, Captain Mahoney. Thank you for the follow. Always grateful for those follows. Hype train, inaugural hype train, my goodness. Got a cheer from Factual Gull for a hundred bits. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh my gosh. Any kind of a hype train is an honor. Thank you guys so much. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, this is part of a uh, first leg of a 13-part journey. Uh, we're going to be flying all around the western United States. 
Golden Bow with a 100-bit cheer there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Golden Bow. This is part of a 13-part journey that uh, is going to take us through the Central Valley of California and then to southeastern New Mexico and then to Salt Lake City and then back down to the, the Rattlesnake Air Base of West Texas and back up to the central U.S. of Kearney, Nebraska. And we're going to be flying long distances and short distances and we're going to be flying the uh the um north atlantic uh ferry route also goose bay to reykjavik to ireland and then on to england so definitely hit the follow button there folks level two almost there you can do it three minutes Three minutes there. Appreciate everything, guys. Thank you so much. So, there's my dad. At Santa Ana. During training. 79 years ago this week. 79 this years ago this week, he started his... Cadet Flight Training at Santa Ana, California. 90%. Almost there. Also, definitely go check out my... Oh, we got a subscribe from Colden, go, Colden Bow. Thank you very much. And that put us over the top. Yes. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. I am so honored. This is a level two hype train on my inaugural flight. That is so cool. Thank you all so much. So appreciate that. Thank you, Dougal. Thank you very much. He would have appreciated that. Thank you, Cop Captain Bombasso. Thank you. Respect. I really appreciate that. I had the great honor to ha um, be able to meet um, all except two of his crew members over the years. Um, I attended um, about seven or eight uh, of his bomb group reunions with him. Also um, was able to go to uh, England with him in the late 90s, 1997, to visit the uh, Underth Bomb Group Air Base at Thorpe Abbotts, where they have a wonderful um, uh, restored control tower and museum. So, if if you're all um, if you're all watching this in England, uh, definitely check out um, the Underth uh, Bomb Group Memorial uh, Museum uh, near near uh, Thorpe Abbotts, England, near Dis, um, out in the country. Uh, they've got a great operation going there. Uh, they, they may be closed for the season right now, but I think you can still schedule a tour by appointment. But yes, if you, if you live in the UK, um, and and um, you plan a little bit of a weekend up in uh, East Anglia, about halfway between Ipswich and Norwich. Uh, there's a little little village called Dis, and outside of that village is Thorpe Abbotts. Oh yes, Dougal, yes for sure. You're in Salisbury, and uh, has visited many of the old air bases. Well, I. Um, uh, if you're out uh, out and about, uh, definitely head up towards Dis and uh, visit the Thorpe Abbotts uh, Underth Bomb Group Memorial Museum. Uh, they've done a bang up job there. Um, it's definitely worth your trip. 
but there are several. Um, I know I've been to uh, Debich, uh for the 493rd. They have a wonderful collection of um, um, military vehicles and period correct items down at Debich for the 493rd bomb group. Been there several years ago. Let's see how we're doing on our course. How far off I am. <laughs> Still need to go to the right. But uh, definitely, folks, smash that follow button. And uh, go to my Discord and uh, jump on the Discord. That's where you'll catch all the updates. Uh, we're doing this series. Uh, 1800 Zulu every Saturday. Um, the first three or four will be fairly short, only a couple hours, but um, we're going to have some long ones. And we're going to be flying. Um, we're going to be flying other airplanes other than this, than the Stearman. I have some surprises coming there, so definitely uh, some livery surprises. But definitely. Smash the follow button, and so you catch all the uh, future announcements. I'm going to come back down to about 8,500, I think. Get by with that. And see, I always get the valleys mixed up here. Because we're still quite a ways away. And if anybody wants to, uh, oh, we got a level two hype train emote. Awesome. That's showing up on mine anyway. Close by airports, if anybody wants to fly with me. Um, looks like a new Kayama L88 or Maricopa Hilo Mike Alpha Bravo. Maricopa Airport is close by. If you guys want to jump in and fly, definitely. Have a look around. I can't see any tags. As the old, we're on West USA server. As the old flight sim has decided to take away tags this morning. I'm going to share that. I don't know if the, how that's going to work, but. <laughs> Receive a level two hype train emote. Choo choo. I can't tell what that is. Looks like a pig to me, but. <laughs> Thank you, Phlox. For starting that hype train, too. Definitely, you guys, if I got in late on this, if you haven't checked out Phlox Trot, Definitely go give him a follow. I can't say enough about Lockstrot. And uh, definitely go give him a follow, folks. He is a wonderful streamer. And uh, has, uh, has done a lot for this noob. This beginner. <laughs> so we're down around well, I see some tags finally and they go away <laughs> I know, Dougal. I hear you. So many streamers and not enough hours. Well, I do hope I picked a good time period. I had been streaming a couple of other of my streams on uh, weeknights. 
Um, I have a full-time job, so time, time sometimes is, is uh, hard to come by. But I do have weekends, and I've decided to do this one on a weekend. Hopefully during a time period that works out for everybody, for viewers. And has some uh, common interest in aviation. That's another thing. Let's see if I can get some of his dad's photos back up here. Did I close that out? I hope not. So I was showing this earlier. This is a postcard from the Hollywood Canteen. Betty Davis, Patricia Morrison, Georgia Carroll, Marilyn Maxwell. This is something that Dad kept in his collection for many, many years. And there he is, the young cadet. I think I still have that name badge also somewhere in my collection. Pictures that he sent home to the family. This was on his train ride out from, uh, from the Midwest, from Southwest Iowa. This is at Las Vegas, New Mexico. Yes. <laughs> Preaching to the choir, that's for sure, Captain. This is in Las Vegas, New Mexico on the train ride out. Don't know who these fine, dapper young gentlemen are. Probably passengers who rode along with him. And a couple of years ago, I did a little Google map searching and uh, this train station is still, uh, still in existence in uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico. I believe it is an Amtrak station now. It has been restored and uh, looks to be in pretty good shape. Definitely check out the link for my Discord channel there, folks. Um, catch up on all the current happenings on the Splasher 6, in the Splasher 6 world. I also do a couple of other streams. Weeknights. Fun Fly Friday night, which was just last night, which is kind of loose, loose and fun. And then uh, I'm also doing a multi leg Pan American Highway journey which I'm about halfway through right now flying through southern Mexico on a south to north following the Pan American Highway that's usually on Monday or Tuesday nights but uh, if you can't catch it definitely catch the VOD Here's another picture of Dad at Santa Ana. And here's the one I should have brought up earlier. This is the one that mystified me as a young child from the time that I can remember anything. Angry One Horn with the raid. Thank you, sir. Couple viewers, welcome to Splasher 6 Flight Sim, where we are following the flight training path of my dad during World War II. Who is a B-17 pilot? Smash that follow button, definitely. You are catching the inaugural leg of about a 13-part journey. That will be happening uh, once a week. Thank you for the that raid, Angry One Horn. Definitely, uh, if you all are out there and haven't checked out Angry One Horn. Definitely do that. And I'm also remiss from earlier while I'm trying to type and fly at the same time. Viper Strike. My, my remiss that I didn't get you linked earlier. Definitely, guys, go out and check out Viper Strike. He got... Uh, he put in a kind word. Hey, man, had to raid you mainly because it's you and it's day one of the new series. Thank you so much, Angry. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. 
Yep, this will be a regular thing for the next 13 weeks or so. 1800 Zulu, 1 p.m. Central. And I even have visuals. <laughs> There'll be more pictures along the way. Ah, no problem, Viper. Sorry it took me a little while to get that done there. A little information overload going on here. And we need to be back on 30 degree heading. Viper Strike with the emotes. The Let's Go Cadet emotes. Those emotes, by the way, have uh, an image of my dad's wings that he earned. Um, from a, a direct photo of my dad's uh, flight wings that I used for that emote. It says, let's go cadets. So those of you who are looking for airplane photos, period airplane photos, you're gonna have to wait for next week because he didn't, uh, he didn't do any flying uh, while he was at Santa Ana. Bring back up some of the pictures from Santa Ana here. Figure out how to do that. Anybody figured out this uh, photo yet? My dad, when I was little, would always get that photo out and say, I bet you didn't know I, I was that flexible at one time, did you? <laughs> and me, the, me, the five-year-old, would go, how'd you do that? How'd you do that, Dad? <laughs> it is two people. Angry One Horn with the win. I wish I could award you some channel points, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it is two people. There's a dude. Uh, the depth of field is the deceiving part of it. There's a guy, one of his buddies laying down behind him with his feet up over dad's shoulders. <laughs> yes, my dad was quite the card in his younger days. Quite the trickster. Zoom. Yep. Yeah. He still, they took it pretty good, so you can't see anybody back there. still yes playing with depth of field it was probably um if it was his camera it was probably just a um a brownie box camera because that's all he had at the time <laughs> even here flockstrot ignoring my chat <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get this back to, yeah, there we go. Some of his other buddies during PT at Santa Ana. Don't know where or whatever happened to these guys. I have to research that somehow, where they went on to training. Some of the other buddies he hung with at Santa Ana. Now, let's see how far off course I've drifted. I still need to go to the right. Yep. Yeah, like I was saying, the uh, y'all have to hang on till next week uh, for any of the airplane stuff, or look at the uh, montage at the beginning of my streams. I threw a few airplane photos in there. This is an aerial of um, King City, uh, the 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 uh, airport base at, at King City. In uh, looks like 1943. 
Peking City Costa Mesa. Uh, I gotta see what that airport. Can't ever remember. Mesa del Rey. Mesa del Rey, King City. AKIC. That's where we're headed today, by the way. Uh, a little over halfway there. Whoop. So now, I showed this earlier. This is a telegram that my dad sent to his parents uh, announcing that um, he was uh, being sworn in to the Army Air Force. Getting back to kind of the beginning of the story, dad was a little bit older. Um, he graduated high school in 35, and this was the spring of 42. So he had had a couple years of college in there. Uh, he had also taken time out from college to work for a couple years. Uh, he had also um, been on, uh, been uh, as a uh, fireman on the railroad also. So kind of knew what his draft number was. And so he waited it out a little bit and then enlisted in the Army Air Force. He didn't want to be a foot soldier. And um, it so happened that the timing was right that he enlisted uh, with another group of uh, Army Air Force cadets over... Uh, a radio broadcast in central Iowa at the time. So he is uh, sending a telegram to his parents saying that we'll swear in 4.30 today over WOI, radio, local radio station in central Iowa, and then go to Algona tonight and then home on Monday. <laughs> so sending a telegram to his folks, letting him know where he was going to be for the next few days. And that was in May of 42. And he enlisted in May of 42 and then worked on the railroad until, I believe, August. And then um, did some odd jobs and work for his dad at home until he shipped out in probably uh, late October. It's just another scan. This is a photo over the internet I found of the base entrance at Santa Ana during the time period. Another aerial view of uh, Santa Ana Air Base. And then um, right here, this, uh, this turquoise line is uh, is in the area of um, Santa Ana where the base was. We flew over that earlier in the stream, which now is pretty thoroughly developed. I think they have a monument at the entrance where the entrance used to be, like a plaque or something like that. So anyway, some of the photos I have in his collection to begin with anyway so lost hills okay let's see what we look like on the flight path eh, we're still not doing too bad we still need to correct to the right and actually we could come down to 4,000 feet also, <laughs> Flox is busted again. I believe we will be staying in this valley the rest of the flight. Check our fuel supply here. 36%. Hopefully we'll be all right. Ah, uh, Flock says, away from keyboard, off in one, got some chores to do, jump on and take a look here when there is no W-O-T-S. Thanks, Flox. Appreciate the hype train. 
Wife over the shoulder. There we go. <laughs> well, my greetings to wife over the shoulder, Mrs. Phlox. Appreciate all you do, letting letting the flocks out now and then for a, a flight here and there. going to keep that Lost Hills Airport to our left a little bit while we correct our course and continue down to roughly 4,000 feet. Take a look out around. I got flyers back there behind me. Nothing showing up on, on the old uh, name tags, though. Seven thousand feet. Still descending. If you're still viewing out there, definitely smash that follow button. I'm on West USA server there, Barnsey J, on West USA server. And if you want to join in and fly, you're definitely welcome to. I'm in the Stearman, which is only about 100 knots or so, but uh, we are close to reflect right over Lost Hills. Gila Lima, Gila Lima, Oscar, Sierra, Lost Hills Airport. You want to spawn in? Thank you for the follow there, Barnsy J. Definitely come and join us. Oh, Viper, things are going very well. Thanks. Thank you again for that uh, that little uh, that little hint to uh, Allison Johnson for that raid. That was awesome. Had a level two hype train, first time ever. Definitely, definitely appreciate that uh, that word to Allison. Thank you so much. That's awesome. On the inaugural flight of the cadet training tour, we are flying from Santa Ana, California to King City, California on the first leg of following my dad's flight training journey for his B-17 training in World War II. We are flying from Santa Ana where he had basic to King City, where he had primary flight training. And the good old Stearman, which he actually didn't train in. He trained uh, his primary in Orion PT-22 which we'll see more pictures of next week during our flight. I don't think he had, I, I don't know if it was just the luck of the draw that um, um, they didn't have any steermen at the bases that he was at, at King City, or what that, why that was. But, um, he did not. He did not have any time in the um, in the Stearman. But next week we will fly Orion airplane. Not the PT twenty two, but a time period correct Orion airplane. From uh, King City up to Chico. 
That will be next week's flight, King City, California to Chico, California. Also, definitely in chat there, check out the 100th Bomb Group uh, at 100thbg.com. Uh, that's uh, the website for the 100th Bomb Group Foundation. Uh, if you're interested in uh, World War II aviation, the 8th Air Force, uh, in particular, uh, they have a wealth of uh, images uh, from the time period of the operations of the 100th Bomb Group, which was located at Thorpe Abbott's Station 139 in East Anglia. And uh, get a taste for how life was for the Bomber Boys. ourselves down to about 5,000 feet. I think that'll be plenty good. If you're new to the channel, definitely smash that follow button. And also uh, check out the link to my discord channel where you'll catch up on all the latest goings ons we need to get more to the right as usual definitely check out my discord channel you'll catch up on all the goings ons on splasher 6 world because I have another weekly stream. Ah, oh, thank you, Dougal. Really appreciate that. Appreciate you stopping in. Thank you so much for uh, stopping in and chat. Hope to see you next week. Definitely have a great rest of your weekend. It has been a wonderful flight so far. Really appreciate all your followers, all your people watching right now. If you like this kind of content, I also do a weekly uh, regular stream journey following the Pan American Highway from south to north. That is a regular occurrence either a Sunday or a Monday or Tuesday night depending on what my work schedule looks like that Pan American Highway journey we are in southern Mexico right now if I correct that we're in Nicaragua we haven't gotten into Mexico yet. We are in Nicaragua. Following the Pan American Highway. On a south to north journey, we started in Ushaya, Argentina, about 26 odd weeks ago. Flying in the X Cub. And we're going all the way to Prudhoe Bay, baby. Plenty of time to jump in on that, but you gotta smash that follow button. You gotta give me a follow. Hey, Joey, how are you doing, my man? Joey Bolo in the house. Welcome, welcome. Another fine streamer out there. Definitely gotta check out Joey Bolo if I can fly and type at the same time. There we go. Definitely check out Joey Bolo. Give him a follow, folks. You guys have been so supportive of my channel. You, you and Angry, Flocks. 
Definitely. Ah, A1H. Love it. That's a good abbreviation. I think we're going to hang out at about 5,000 feet. See how far out we are. I think we're still a ways away. Yep, we're still a ways away. We've got to cross a little bit of a mountain range yet still. Some bumps in the road. We still need to get towards... 3-3 instead of 3-1. If anybody out there hasn't gone to my Discord channel yet, definitely sign up. Join up in the Discord channel. If you haven't done that, you got to go out and do that. Keep up with the old splasher. What's going on with the this flight journey and the Pan American Highway. And also Friday night fun fly nights. And just like that, the Discord link comes up. I hope that link is working. Somebody try it. I just put that up just a few nights ago if uh, one of you guys want to smash on that link and give me a give me a confirm that uh, that link does work for discord yeah yeah I um, I have done this uh, cadet flight stream uh, earlier this year in Facebook actually and um, I did it mainly for the 100th Bomb Group Foundation members for their enjoyment. And um, I wanted to wait until it just so happens that Dad started this journey 79 years ago this past week. Um, so this kind of marks the 79th anniversary of him starting his flight training. So I'm like, I noticed that a few weeks ago. So I'm like, oh, okay, I got to start this up on Twitch. So um, this is the beginning of about a 13-part journey and the Pan American Highway. Appreciate that. I know Joey has been a follower on a Pan Am Highway journey several times. Definitely a regular. Sometimes Sunday night, sometimes Monday night, sometimes Tuesday night. Just kind of depends on uh, old Splasher's uh, work and travel schedule. But, um,. I picked this. I picked the uh, Stearman tonight, uh, today, um, just because it's kind of a shorter flight distance. Splash on in, that's for sure. And while we're talking about it, um, my handle Splasher Six comes from a reference having to do with the Hundredth Bomb Group <clears throat> and operations in uh, World War II at the base, at the Thor Babbitt's base. Um, the bomber crews, um, when they came back uh, from missions, it was always foggy or rainy or the weather was always inclement and it was always hard to find the base. And what they had was a radio signal that they homed in on that was um, all the bases had this and um, the pilots and the crews at uh, Thorpe Abbott's nicknamed their uh, radio signal Splasher 6 which was a piloting 
air crew term that um, the crew behind you at your six o'clock had gone into the English Channel. So they named their beacon signal Splasher 6. And the 100th Bomb Group Foundation also uses Splasher 6 as the title of their their um, quarterly newsletter publication. So there is a reason I picked Splasher 6. Not just out of the bucket. Come on. I just love the sound of the steerman. Get a little Kodak moment going there. California Central Valley, putting along in the Steerman. Pull up another round of photos here. Yeah, if you want to go flying, if that's what you mean, Joey, definitely. Um, I think where we're close to, spawn in. But um, if you want to, let's see where we're at. Again, I'm drifting off. We're right above Black Bletch Ranch. OCA0, CA9. Zero CA nine. Been having trouble with uh, name tags showing up today. Don't know why. Or Paso Robles. Hope I pronounced that right. Paso Robles. Uh, KPRB. K uh, Kilo Papa. Romeo Bravo. Robles. Thank you. Appreciate that, Joey. Appreciate that, Robles. So, a couple airports nearby if anybody wants to spawn in and fly with the Splasher 6. You are more than welcome to. I haven't tried live weather yet. I've been kind of wussing out on that for today since I don't have autopilot. Let's see what live weather looks like. I always like to do this just for fun. Okay, clear. It looks like we got definitely a wind element here. which appears to be about a three knot crosswind, which is also gonna be blowing me even more to the left. I'm already. We'll stick with that for a while. Ugh, fuel. Checking out the petrol, 28%. Well, let's see how we do here.
if I were guessing, I'm guessing that POI marker up there is going to be King City. Mesa del Rey, KKIC. bit of coffee time what's left of it anyway that's warm Get ourselves up around 5,000 feet If you're out there still watching, you have tuned in to Splasher 6 Flight Sim. And we are on the beginning leg of about a 13 part journey following my dad's flight training path in World War II. <clears throat> we started out in uh, Santa Ana, California, John Wayne, Orange County Airport, and we were flying to next stop in his flight training journey which was King City, California. He trained all up and down the uh, California Central Valley starting 79 years ago this week, this past week on uh, November 10th, 1942 is when he uh, arrived at um, Santa Ana for, uh, for basic training in the uh, Army Air Force at the time. So um, for anybody paying attention in chat who's out there listening or watching, does um, anybody out there have a relative who was in the Army Air Force in World War II? A great uncle, grandfather, maybe a, maybe a father that uh, served in the Army Air Force. If you do, I'd sure like to hear your story, where they served, where they trained, what unit they were with, what bomb group they were with, or fighter group. That would be interesting to hear. There, there were training bases all over the United States, throughout the south and southeast. Many were in Florida. Many in South Central. My grandfather served for someone who I don't better call in chat here. Completely understood, Captain Mahoney. My respect for him, too. I completely understand. I know from having known a lot of uh, vets, they had the most immense amount of respect for their adversaries. An equal amount of respect is due to your grandfather too for having served. Ah, it looks like we got a follow from Pincus or Pincus. Thank you for the follow, Pincus. Thank you for smashing that follow button. Anybody else out there, go on and smash the follow button. This is, uh, this is what I do on a weekly basis. Um, if um, this uh, particular th 
light doesn't pique your interest, I also do a, um, he was, uh, 17, 18 at the time for army. So there was no other chance. I think that's correct. That's correct. Completely understood. Captain Mahoney. Not much choice. Uh, definitely, um, if you're out there following, um, I do f a flight stream, a regular flight stream of the uh, Pan American Highway once a week, usually on a Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday night. And we're about halfway through that now. If the World War II military genre doesn't pique your interest, um, we're doing that flight. Uh, we're in uh, Nicaragua and uh, heading south to north following the Pan American Highway in an X-Cub. I'm on leg 23 or 24 now. So definitely smash that follow button. Um, this is not all we do at Splasher 6 Flight Sim. There's also a Friday night fun fly night. And uh, last night was kind of me getting caught up on some air, some uh, aircraft that had been sitting in my hangar for a month or so. <laughs> and I haven't gotten to. Who the Grumman Goose? Last night on a little short flight out from to Catalina Island. Blew the Grumman Agcat uh, aerial sprayer, aerial crop sprayer. And um, what was the third one we flew last night? What was the third one? I had it written down here, back here, somewhere here. Oh, flew the Vertigo. The, the Vertigo has had a couple of updates since I've flown it last. And um, it still is a little bit twitchy on the ground. I have not figured out yet how to shut it off. I, I got it. We flew from uh, roughly from Las Vegas up to... Uh, um, to um, Homey or Area 51 and uh, got it landed. It handles great, um, but you get it on the ground and it it wants to fly away and in taxi mode. Oh, we're still creeping up a little bit there. Need to be further to the right. Well, actually, I could be to the left. That won't hurt. I want to follow this valley right here. We'll be good. I still need to be down around 5,000. I don't think I need to be above 5,000. Oh, Alpha Whiskey, 644, you had the same issues. Yeah, tried everything. Shutting off the fuel cock seems to be the only way to stop the vertigo. Maybe the fuel, I think I did try fuel at the last. Maybe that did do it. It, it took a while for it to wind down. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know what the deal was. I am admittedly not... Um, uh, I don't have a lot of time in uh, the jets or the um, turbine aircraft, so I don't know the startup procedures quite as well. So I just started with it running on the uh, on the air. But you know, once I got it up in the air and flying, it it flies a lot better now. It used to be really twitchy and and hard to handle. You just got to remember not to um, firewall it. You know, 
got to be really conservative because it can get out of hand with it really fast. And once you get up in the air, get that gear up because uh, you'll be going 180, 190 plus in no time with that vertigo. I just, <laughs> I'm soft. I know. I just wish it had autopilot. <laughs> It has GPS, and you can follow the magenta line, but it would be nice if it had autopilot. Overall, not bad, though. And welcome to you, Alpha Whiskey. Definitely smash that follow button if you haven't already. Thank you for uh, jumping in and chat. get drifting back over to the 3-3 three, three mark here. Oh, I am still on live weather, come to think of it. I am going to go back to... Ah, oh, thank you for that follow, Alpha Whiskey. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Nice to know you're all out there listening. Uh, let's go to uh, a few clouds. Let's see what a few clouds look like today. There we go. San Ardo. All right, let's see where San Ardo is on the ma little nav map. Oh yeah, if we point ourselves to San Ardo, I think we'll be good. And we've creeped up to 6,000 feet almost. Don't really need to be. We'll be doing fine if we're down around 5. Let's get a descent going here. And we won't be flying the Stearman for all of the flights, um, but probably for a few of them here in the Central California Valley. As um, thinking ahead a few weeks, um, guys, definitely stick, stick with us. Um, we've got lots of photos to share. Uh, period photos from my dad's collection so that will be something to look at but um, the next uh, King City to Chico will be fairly short so we'll probably stay in the Stearman and then Chico down to Stockton will probably stay in the Stearman but then Stockton where he got his wings in uh, advanced Eve. I have to remember all the Advanced flight training was stocked, yes. As it goes primary, basic, advanced. Um, from Stockton, his next jump off was Hobbs, New Mexico. So our flight from Stockton to Hobbs will be a long one in about three weeks. And um, I have some ideas for that with some special liveries. I try to um, keep the airplanes to piston engine airplanes. So I can, uh, on the longer flights, which are going to be fairly long, I've got, I've got the Baron um, for the uh, Stockton to Hobbs flight in a special livery. That will reveal. And then I've got the DC-6 in a special livery also. Because we're going to have, when we go over the North North Atlantic ferry route, um, we're going to have some long flights. Goose, Goose Bay to Reykjavik, Iceland. It's going to be a long one. And Reykjavik down to uh, uh, Ireland. 
That's going to be another long one. We'll need something that we can um, that we can fly in that's over 200 knots. So definitely stick around for that. <clears throat> that will be coming up in the weeks to come. But these first few weeks, they're going to be fairly short. Also, definitely a little reminder and a little pop up here in Stream Elements. Uh, but uh, go check out my Discord channel. Um, that's the best way to keep up with all the uh, calendared events. What's happening in the Splasher 6 Flight Sim world. There we go. We're down around 4,000 feet. San Ardo. I've got tags. So I got name tags. Seemly lattice. Over keyboard. <laughs> I love some of the names that come up. It is so cool. Alpha, alpha what now? <laughs> I love it. That's a good one too. Alpha what now? <laughs> Is there a niner in there? You're trailing off. Lying from a infamous uh, comedic movie from the past if anybody's paying attention on that one I hear a niner in there you're trailing off doctors go to school for seven years another I don't think that's a direct, but that's pretty close. All right, we just passed Ardmore or whatever it was. Basically, if we just follow this highway, it'll take us right to King City. IFR, I follow roads. And actually probably come down to 3,000 feet. Think of it. Uh, unfortunately, nobody has done a, uh, an airport upgrade for King City. So it's going to look pretty basic. But a lot of these uh, training airfields were sold as surplus to local municipalities and cities after the war. Oh, 
Oh, Captain Mombasso. Thank you so much for following along. Appreciate it. Yep, no problem at all. We're getting close to the end of the flight. If you haven't smashed that follow button, please do. As you're uh, as you're headed out. But uh, look forward to seeing you in the next flight. Uh, this one will be next week. 1 p.m. Central. 1800 Zulu. For our next flight uh, from King City to Chico, California. Bring her down to about 3,000 feet, and we should be good. So let's um, kind of uh, review through photos here. If uh, any of you are getting in late to the flight, we are on a flight following my dad's training path in World War II for cadet training. He was a B-17 bomber pilot in World War II. And he started out at Santa Ana, California. And we took off from Santa Ana a couple hours ago. And uh, here's a picture of the base entrance back in the day. And an aerial view of the uh, Santa Ana training base. Not too far from John Wayne Orange County Airport which we, was where we took off from. And you'll see right here, there's kind of an aerial view. I don't know these highway names, unfortunately, but uh, down in the left-hand corner here is where John Wayne Orange County is. So this is kind of going backwards in order, but uh, this is a, this was a telegram he sent to his folks announcing that he will be swearing in to the Army Air Force. This is an overhead view of uh, King City Airport, King City Airfield, where we're headed right now. And there's my dad at Santa Ana, December 42. He started his training this past week, 79 years ago, this past week, at Santa Ana. which was basic, where they learned the ins and outs of military life, marching, physical, ther uh, physical therapy, <laughs> PT, physical training, some of the basics of uh, military life, marching, and more marching, and more calisthenics. This uh, was um, a railroad station in Las Vegas, New Mexico, on his way out there, where they stopped on the way, and did a little research a couple years ago, and this building is still standing. There he is at Santa Ana, during what uh, he also called pre-flight. It's uh, cadets. It forgot it all. It is also called pre-flight, November and December of 1942. There's a buddy of his. I have no idea what happened to him. I need to do some research on that. Some other buddies from uh, that time period. 
And then uh, this photo <laughs> that always uh, mystified me as a young child. And my dad, ornery as he was, kept me on the hook until I was probably eight or nine years old. City. To the right. And do you believe? We keep the highway on our under our left wing. So the trick to the photo is his buddy is laying behind him with his legs up over dad's shoulders. And this is all probably taken with a uh, box, uh, brownie, brownie box camera that uh, his dad, that's all dad had at the time. So, another picture of him at Santa Ana. I think I still have that badge on his left pocket. Another picture from trip out, train trip out, Las Vegas, New Mexico. No idea who these guys are. Probably uh, more recruits headed to their training facility, be it Army, Navy, or Air Force. Another picture of dad. He did not have his his uh, crush hat anymore. Don't know whatever happened to that. <clears throat> I do have his dress uniform though. Just the jacket. Anyway, this is a postcard that he had signed by all the, a few of the stars that were there that night from the Hollywood Canteen. And that is an autograph by the Betty Davis. And Patricia Morrison underneath, Georgia Carroll, I think, um, under that, Marilyn Maxwell further down, and Harry Babbitt at the bottom. Some of the photos that I have of Dad's time during Santa Ana. Let's see how close we are. Things always catch up rather quickly. And I'll bet you that is where we need to be. Yep. It looks like Alpha What now has uh, landed in front of us. Get ourselves on a descent and a right hand downwind into King City. And our destination, KKIC. And the altitude of that airport is, again, only 72, 372. Okay. 372. Okay. So it's down there on the deck. Hopefully we have enough fuel to do this. <laughs> That's another thing I didn't look at. Uh, 16% should be in plenty good. Take a long downwind. Pilot Cade down there. 
Alpha what now? Hope we have some people following along still. Gonna get down to about 1200 feet pattern altitude. No flaps on the old Stearman, so you just kind of got to let it glide. Think way ahead. About 80 knots is what you want to be descending at. Yourselves to 1500 RPM. Turn. Get that step on that ball a little bit. Good. Coming around. A thousand feet. Still got to bleed off some energy. A little fast still. Seven hundred feet. Ninety knots. Down towards idle. Our mixture up. Self into a slip a little bit here. Away from those trees. Still going to bleed off lots of energy. Let it glide on in. 70 knots. Pulling back. Yeah. Pulling back. Uh, bounced it. Bounced it. It's all right. Still made the turn off. On the brakes. There we go. Don't want to smoke those brakes too bad. And we're in King City. Here we are. We'll go up to up here where a few more of the a few more of the aircraft are residing. Well, hello, Alpha Whatnot. Yeah, we're going to park. Close enough. All right, brakes on. Brakes on. Mixture back. Oh, thanks, Viper. Yeah, bounced it a little bit, but haven't flown this whole lot recently so let's see if the old controller works I was having a little trouble with it earlier oh yeah okay we got it it does not want to find itself when I first hook up Farnsey J now I remember Farnsey J you were in chat earlier 
know if you're coming in. We'll wait for you if you are. Alpha Whatnot is there. Get a Kodak moment. Turn up those hopping big band sounds in the background. Depict a wide open spaces for uh, primary. Uh, I lost. I lost Farnsey J. Dog on it. Sorry about that, Farnsey J. If you're watching, see if I can make this work right. Hey, thanks, Viper. Really appreciate you following along. Thanks, man. Gosh, got a got a uh, level two hype train. My goodness, and that um, and that raid from uh, from Allison. Thanks to you. Really appreciate that. Really, really appreciate that. That's nice. Um, does wonders for the spirit and definitely um, if you guys are going to be here next week oh that's good okay cool we will definitely be here and what I'm going to do is uh, continue yes shut everything down and I'm going to bid everybody adieu and um, see you next week. And we're going to exit with the, um, with the slideshow uh, reminding us of, uh, of the uh, stream for next week. So with that, thank you all for the follows, for the subscriptions, for uh, following along. Viper, again, thank you so much. Um, all you guys, uh, Joy Bolo, Phlox, um, appreciate it. Y'all have a great rest of your weekend. And this is Splasher6 signing off for now.